You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. Zechariah 13, verse 6. Jesus as false prophet? I was asked in question recently a friend of mine, some of whose Christian friends have been pointing to Isaiah 13, verse 6, and saying that wounds in his hands stuff sounds like Jesus. So his question was, does that make Jesus a false prophet? To understand what's going on, you have to look with me at Zechariah chapter 13, verse 6. But first, we have to remember how Christians very often find Jesus in the Old Testament. They tend to find him there by hearing echoes of New Testament passages or ideas in the words of the Old Testament. So, when in the King James Version they read in Zechariah 13, 6, And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thine hands? Then he shall answer, Those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. And they say, Coo, that sounds like Jesus. Wounds in the hands? House of the friends? But first, let's have a look at the context. Zechariah chapter 13 begins with a glorious picture of the royal house and indeed all of Jerusalem clean at last. On that day a fountain shall be opened for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to clean them from sin and impurity. It goes on with no more idols or prophets who apparently in Zechariah 13 are a bad thing. On that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will cut off the names of the idols from the land, so that they shall be remembered no more, and also I will remove from the land the prophets and the unclean spirit. Indeed, Zechariah foresees a grim end for those nasty prophets. Verse 3. And if any prophets appear again, their fathers and mothers who bore them will say to them, You shall not live, for you speak lies in the name of the Lord. And their fathers and their mothers who bore them shall pierce them through when they prophesy. Now I wonder why people aren't pointing to verse 3 and saying that sounds like Jesus. Jesus was pierced on the cross. But let's move on. Verse 4. On that day the prophets will be ashamed every one of their visions when they prophesy. They will not put on a hairy mantle in order to deceive, but each of them will say, I am no prophet, I am the tiller of the soil, for the land has been my possession since my youth. They sound remarkably like Amos in chapter 7, where Amos denies being a prophet, or even a son of a prophet. But let's move on, because in verse 6 we get to the passage where people do find Jesus. And if anyone asks them, what are these wounds on your chest? The answer will be, the wounds I received in the house of my friends. Oh, it doesn't quite work, does it, in the RSV? Wounds in my chest doesn't quite sound so much like Jesus. So, what's going on? What's going on is that the King James Version has translated not between, but in your hands. Now, the problem here is a preposition. Prepositions are always a problem for translators. They never work the same in two different languages. And here, the preposition that the King James had rendered in, in thine hands, is rendered by modern translations in the way in which it's more usually rendered into English in the Bible, between. Between your hands, what does that mean? And translators usually guess chest, but some of them guess back. And so it becomes, what are these wounds in your chest, or what are these wounds in your back? And that's where our riddle comes in. Because if you do read the King James, and you read wounds in, the, in your hands, then, well, then you're tempted to think of Jesus, because the words sound similar. I call it a riddle because it's rather like the one that the Sunday school teacher asked their children. What lives in tunnels, lollops when it runs, and has a fluffy white tail, says the Sunday school teacher and all the children are completely stumped. It's too difficult for them. Finally, the teacher picks on Johnny, who usually has an answer for everything. Come on, Johnny, I'm sure you know. Well, y yes, says Johnny. I know the answer's Jesus. I just can't work out why. And that's the position we're in when we read in Zechariah 13.6 about someone with wounds in his hands, which sounds like Jesus. On the other hand, Jesus is everywhere in Scripture. This must be so because Scripture is all about God, and God is Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit. And if that's right, then, or if those things are right, then the Father, the Son, and the Spirit are ubiquitous in Scripture. Jesus is always present, but not present in the simple magic-like ways that we sometimes want to assume. Not because of the echo of wounds in your hands, but rather in the story. So let's look at Zechariah's story. He begins with a people in desperate need of cleansing. He goes on to claim that speaking for God is dangerous that being a prophet is a dangerous thing. Think about those two ideas. Because Jesus, above all, cleanses the people of God. Jesus offers true, complete, and full cleansing for all of the sins of the people of God. And, at the same time, Jesus is the one and only completely true prophet. All other prophets are, in some ways, failures and untrue. Jesus alone is the complete and true prophet. 
the one who always declares exactly what God is saying. So, do we find Jesus in Zechariah 13, 6, and 1, 2, 6? Yes, of course. But is he there in the detail of the wounds in the hands? Is this a prophecy of Jesus? No, of course not. What Zechariah is talking about is something completely different. God bless.